good morning or whatever time of day it is when you're watching this we are off on a fun st augustine adventure we're going to head to the conch house for lunch and then go to whetstone for gelato and then do a little vera bradley shopping at the outlet mall so we're um starting the vlog here because we're trying to make the best use of our time as we sit and wait at the bridge of lions traffic is typically bad at this intersection um, there's the Bridge of Lions, and there, between the trees, are the lions themselves. Very nice. So I'll show you as we go across. Um, uh, yeah, this is a pretty busy intersection. Oh, I think we're moving. Yes, we have a green turn arrow. And the marina is on the right. There's one of the lions. It's really quite a pretty bridge. Thankfully, it was not raised for a boat or we'd really have been waiting. Well, we are excited to eat at the conch house. Again, there's the sign for it. Then you travel down this road a little ways before you actually get to it. But crossing across traffic is a little tricky. And we've arrived! Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but we went last summer to the conch house, and I'll link that above, sorry if that's redundant. Um, and we're meeting friends for a Father's Day lunch, and actually it's my boyfriend's dad. So we don't want to be rude and vlog a whole lot, but I will show you some of our meal, and I'll try to show you a little bit around the restaurant. This is really a cool place. Last time we came, they even had an alligator. The weather today is not great, so I believe we will be sitting inside. I was really hoping for one of their little treehouse things. So here are those cool treehouse seats. We didn't get one last time either, and I was so hoping for good weather so we could sit out here, but it is due to rain. They have all sorts of cool seating here, and it's right on the river. Ah, so it looks like we get the best of both worlds and sort of get to sit close to outside. <laughs> Conch House has a fabulous menu, including a local gator tail and other fun Florida things to eat. They have a good selection of seafood. They also have a kid's menu and fried green tomato BLT, which is totally my favorite thing to get there. They have a good drinks menu as well with specialty drinks and wine and beer. And I really like that they do local drinks for this menu as well, like the St. Augustine Mule and the Port Side Surprise. Well, Mom, what do you think of your first conch fritter? <laughs> Mm, loving it, I can tell. Your new yeah. <laughs> favorite. She's a fan. <laughs> I won't miss it if I never have another. <laughs> oh, what was the texture it's like? Okay. Mm. It's good. It's kind of like crab cakes, you know, on mushroom. Oh, together. okay. Yeah. Well, good job for trying it. So, what did you get? This is the Menorca. Oh, nice. It's cooked pork sandwich on a hoagie roll with. Plantain. Plantain. Mm. The conch house uh, Cuban with french fries. Mom got. Uh, this is one of your fries. Oh, that's. Mom is pinching my fries already. This is my with pineapple salsa and plantains and coconut rice. Mm. And I got the um, fried green tomato with pimento cheese. BLT sandwich with the bacon on the side because I'm not going to eat that bacon. Somebody else at the table is going to eat that bacon. Mom, are you excited for lunch? <laughs> right. So she's stealing more of my fries. Okay, see you later. Well, we had a lovely lunch. I thoroughly enjoyed my sandwich. We're bringing leftovers home because we are going to Whetstone's next. Mom, did you enjoy your meal? I did. It was very good. It was not too heavy, which was great. 
but I kind of regretted that I didn't get the, the shrimp that I got the last time we were here because that sauce was really good mm. but I thought this would be easy to divide I knew we were going for dessert afterwards so brought half of it home and, and that was good but thoroughly enjoyed it and it looks like the weather is getting nicer so yeah. I guess we'll get to eat outside at Whetstone so that'll be really good and we're excited for Whetstones. Let's see what they've got. I love it in here. They have so many yummy gelato. They've got strawberry sorbet, pineapple basil sorbet, peanut butter cup, mud pie gelato, Madagascar vanilla, salted caramel gelato, cookies and cream gelato, and raspberry bliss. Mmm. They have so many yummy things here. Oh my gosh. And they've got Lighthouse chocolate souvenirs because we are right down the road from the St. Augustine Lighthouse. So really good to come here for your little gifts if you want some. I really like um, this. I have some of this at home and it is so good. Their chocolate is excellent. Highly recommend. I was just remembering that when we took our tour, of the chocolate factory, you learn the difference between white chocolate and just white chocolate flavors. Right. This is real white chocolate. And it actually really tastes good, unlike the fake white chocolate stuff, which is questionable to say the least. And we're having a bit of fun with um, their chocolate liqueur sauce. chocolate sauces. Yeah. Chocolate amaretto liqueur. And I've got dark chocolate espresso, char dark chocolate espresso liqueur, and wine sauce. Yeah, fun stuff. Mom got the mud pie gelato. Nice. Peanut cup, please. Single, double. Single. Very good. I had a sample of the raspberry, I'm trying and I get to that two couple. thumbs up. <laughs> We got them, we enjoyed whetstones, we had some gelato with our friends, it was all yummy and now we are back in the car as you can probably tell from my seatbelt and Lisa's driving. Yeah, I know you're happy I'm not driving. We're heading to the outlet mall, we're going to go to the Vera Bradley outlet. It's so fun having it so close now. It used to be the closest one was Daytona, which was not at all convenient. Uh, but we're going there. Lisa's looking for some sort of a pouch to use for all the tech cables, which would be really useful when we take our trip in the summer. So come along there with us and we'll see if we can find anything good. And here we are. This is off on her tech pouch hunt. Oh. All the doggies on. I don't know what these are for. Oh, it's a jewelry folio. matches your set. I think you should get it. I think you should get it. It matches your blanket, so. It does. We'll have umbrellas in every pattern. Yeah, just start an umbrella collection. Oh, I feel like I need this too. It also goes with Okay, all day, yes. The peacock. Right. Can you justify getting your tech in there? Oh my. I know it's cheaper than that, but no, it's not going to be that cheap. <laughs> these are little, oh, these are little sling backpacks. So are you looking specifically for tech or yeah, can you just fit it in some small pouch? Right. 
travel wallet. Oh, yeah. That's a good price. It's fifteen dollars. Right, that's right. Last time we were here, I got myself a pair of these slippers. Oh, and now they have some other cozy slippers. Oh, so it's too warm. This is Florida in the summer. It's too warm to wear these right now. But I'll enjoy them when it gets cold. If these looked good on me, do you think I'd be able to get prescription lenses? <laughs> <laughs> they are Bradley glasses. They look pretty big. Are they peacock? I think they're ocean. Oh. oh yeah, I like them. Yeah. It's you. <laughs> Do you think it's something of an oxymoron to say this sloth is back to school? Mm. Like, does it send the wrong yeah. message? Maybe it's a message our society needs to hear today. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> be a, this be a sloth really cool when thing. you go to school. Don't stress. <laughs> Just take your time. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the glasses pattern was. Oh yeah, mechanical pencils. Oh, those are water bottles. I wanted one of these. What's the final price? Fifteen dollars? What, what is that? I don't know. I'm looking. Oh, guess what this is? Is it the tech organizer? It's a cord organizer. Oh, right. This is pretty <laughs> But they oh. don't have it in slot. Oh, yeah. Oh. What are those for? Are those tech boards in or something? I do not know, but I'm sure that you could find something to do with it. I do have it in the hydrangeas. Other designs, nice navy. This is I like this. Doesn't, doesn't this match our umbrellas? No. Oh, see this roll up organizer. Board organization. Oh, yeah, that's overkill. I think that's kind of what I was thinking, but wasn't sure. That's probably overkill. I like that. It's not my favorite design, but it seems very... Floral. Oh, it has the hydrangeas. Yes. Obviously, you were focused on that when I was saying that. Oh, yeah. The zipper feels really nice. Inside isn't the nice purple, no, but oh well. I like that. Yeah, can, can we have... That. Can we have the inside of that or the outside of this? Happy hydrangeas. Hmm. Will you loan it to me when I take my trip in the fall? I think I've outgrown my double pouch. Yeah. Um, I think this will do just fine. Yes. This is nice. Well, I think that's something different. Oh, yeah. that's the water bottle holder. Yeah. Ornate blues. That's the palm floral. Gray. This one. Madalena Paisley Soft. Oh. That's the one with the glasses in the picture. That could be fun for like the beach. Yeah. Because that would be handy for carrying your water bottle, obviously. And then you don't want to take like your whole purse and stuff on the beach. Right, so. right. Do you think Dana needs one? <laughs> Do we need matching ones? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay, How this, much are they? Their final price, 15. Oh. All of this stuff is 15. Okay. So it's a good price. It is. Because it's really sturdy and it's lined. Like it has this right. rubbery lining. Oh, yeah. So, so the like it's not cheap. And it's originally 39. So well, yeah, but they always have. That. Well, yeah, but 
but I would say that is quite a good price because it's good quality. Right. Not like El Cheapo stuff you would get at Walmart. <laughs> Even this is lined, oh, so it would nice. protect so it. Oh, nice. good at the beach, yeah. which is what you started out saying. Right. Um, so, fun vlogs ahead because I have a friend coming to visit my college roomie, and we are doing a girls' trip in Florida. Of course, we live here, so it's a staycation for us. But she's coming from California, so we're gonna have fun times at the beach and other places. So stay tuned. And she's gonna need a water bottle carrier. Yeah. <laughs> For the beach. Right. We're going to the beach. So we had a great experience on the way out. Um, lady packed everything in the bag and it was looking pretty full. And she grabbed another bag and Lisa said, Oh no, no, we don't we don't need to waste bags. And so she said, Yeah, your friend has to have one for her stuff. She has to have her own bag. Wasn't that sweet? So Dana will have a lovely bag when she comes to visit. Stopping on our way home at Tierra Fina. They have a store on St. George Street in St. Augustine, but they also have this uh, warehouse here. We've got a couple of pots from here. Our door numbers are from here. We really like their stuff. And actually this is cheaper than um, purchasing it on St. George Street. We have this pattern here. They're very heavy, so it's expensive to ship them to us. But we do like them, they're nice quality. And they even have some mugs and clearance. And should you want a wall hanging, we've got an assortment. <gasps> Oh, those are cute. $8.99. That's a really good price for a pot. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so we're going to get that. <laughs> wow. oh, we've got these nice little dishes. Cups and salt and pepper shakers. Pots that fit on your wall. Will somebody turn the music on. This looks really bad because we just got home, but we did buy some things from Tierra Fina and we got these little pots. We did find some sauces for them and we got one long one. So the plan is to rearrange here and put the long one in the middle and the short ones on the end. But as I said, we've just walked, well, we haven't even, I haven't even gotten in the door. I just dropped these off, so haven't had time yet to rearrange the plants that are already there. I promise it won't look as bad when this is done. Thanks for joining us for this eclectic St. Augustine adventure. I hope it gave you some ideas of fun things to do out and about while you are in St. Augustine. Um, the Conk House, I highly recommend. All of us loved our food both times we went, and Whetstone is always a great place to go. There are three locations. The location we were at, which is on the Anastasia Island side, and then there are two locations on the old St. Augustine side, um, one on St. George Street and then one over on King Street. So um, lots of options and definitely stop in. They don't all have gelato though, um, but they all have chocolate. And the outlet mall is always fun. We love going to Vera Bradley as well as the other stores. And they are always super nice in Vera Bradley. 
So I hope you have a fabulous day. Please click the like button if you liked it. And please subscribe for future adventures because we do have um, our staycation visit coming up. So enjoy, have a good day.